guys and welcome back thank you so much for stopping by today i'm going to do three eye looks using one product and that is the top yacht chrome paint shadow pot by tar cosmetics i saw these advertised and i just absolutely had to get my hands on one of them because they just look so stunning and beautiful and pigmented and they absolutely are i chose to get like a champagne gold color because i felt like it was super wearable and versatile so i'm going to do three different eye looks using this product right here i'm going to do one that's easy one that's a little bit harder and one that i think is kind of the hardest or most challenging look so if you want to see all three looks just go ahead and keep on watching Okay, so to do the eyeshadow portion of these looks, I'm going to use the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street palette. I think there are a lot of really fun and also wearable looks in this palette, and the quality is nice, and I figure a lot of people have purchased this, so that's why I chose to use it for these three looks. So I'm taking the two brown shades and basically blending them together and using a fluffy brush to buff that right into the crease above the eyelid, and just keep on working that back and forth until you get a nice blend. Then I'm taking the paint pot on my finger. This is definitely the best way to use this product, no question. And I'm just packing that over the lid and then using this Real Techniques brush to kind of diffuse the product so that I cover the whole lid and get a little bit more precision than I did with my finger. Then going back in with those original shades from the Kathleen Lights palette and a slightly smaller brush, I'm just buffing that again through the top of the crease. Taking Top Yacht and putting that in the center of the lid and then taking those same brown colors and putting it under on the lower lash line on the inner and outer corner to create a little bit of a halo eye effect. Next, I'm taking the darkest brown shade in the eyeshadow palette and I'm just buffing it very, very gently along the outer corner of the lid. And there you have the entire easy look. Very, very simple, very easy to recreate, but yet super brightening on the lids. I love how it makes the eyes look open and wide awake. So I hope you guys have no trouble recreating that. I also just used basic old mascara, no lashes. For the next look, I'm taking this terracotta brown shade and a slightly more tapered blending brush, and I'm just buffing it through the crease, kind of where we placed that other color in the last tutorial. Next, I'm taking this beautiful strawberry shade. I absolutely love this color, and I'm lightly blending it again over that other shade. I just wanted a little bit of a hint of pink through that crease. Now I'm taking the Paint Pot Top Yacht on a pencil brush and I'm just tracing it right along the upper lash line. I wanted to do the whole winged liner like this, but it really does not lend itself to wing liner at all. So I'm taking a, actually this is Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Drug Lord and I am tracing my wing out this way. Then I'm gonna use this liquid glitter eyeliner, I think, believe it's by Revlon, and I'm going to put it over top. And then the last step, I'm just kind of packing the Top Yacht by Tar over top of that. If you use a swiping motion, be careful because it can remove what you put down before. Now I'm taking this really light shimmery shade from the Kathleen Lights palette and this other shimmery shade, one going on the inner corner, one going over the lid. And what you're left with is just a beautiful kind of light, very kind of subtle winged liner and that shininess on the lid again think I again I think does a nice job opening up the eyes and creating that bright eye effect that you want again I did try to do the whole winged liner previously like two or three times with just the tart liner and it just was not working it's just too flaky and powdery even when I wet the brush even when I sprayed it with a um, setting spray I really couldn't make it work this was the only way I could do it but I was pretty pleased with the result I just paired it with a red lip and we're good to go now I'm taking a mix between the strawberry shade and the terracotta brown, tracing that through the crease, then using those same two shades and packing it on the outer corner of my lid to start sort of a half cut crease. Then I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette, it's a chocolate brown and an angled eyeliner brush, and I'm just tracing out where I want my cut crease to go, then just blending out that slightly with a pencil brush. Now I'm just going back in with the same colors and darkening up that outer area slightly. This is Max Paint Pot and a very, very fine detailer brush by Real Techniques. This is one of my favorite brushes to do a cut crease with. And I'm just using the Paint Pot to cut right under that dark shade that we put down. And again, I'm only doing this on the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm taking Top Yacht on my finger once again. I think this is the best way to apply it. You get the most bang for your buck. So I'm applying that with the finger and then blending it out with a small brush. This one is from Sigma and just bringing it right up into the line underneath that cut crease. Next, just taking your brush and buffing Top Yacht in with the rest of your eyeshadow so you have a nice soft gradient. Taking just any um, kind of brown shade in the pencil brush, make sure that top area is super blended. Now I'm going in with the terracotta brown and just really buffing that generously along the lower lash line. The lower lash line is going to be pretty, um, pretty simple, but 
I did want to layer it up so it has a really, really smoky effect. Next, I'm taking this uh, lightest shimmery shade in the Kathleen Lights palette and just popping that in the inner corner of the lid as well as the brow bone. So this is the quote unquote most challenging look that we did. The one we just did was the medium difficulty and the first one was the easiest. Now I'm taking a Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper and just creating a nice little wing here. Once I apply some lashes, this look is complete. I really think the colors blend so nicely together. And I think from afar, it really, really opens up your eyes. It makes them look more farther apart, which really just creates kind of like that doe-eyed effect. And I absolutely love how this makeup turned out. I just paired it with a light pink lip and this is the completed look. Okay guys, so that completes the video. I really hope you liked watching all three looks be created. If you picked up this product in this color or any other colors, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what you picked up and how you feel about it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.